upside down. I love this thing. This gimbal is amazing. Can you tell how good it is by the fact that the picture's upside down when I went to go shift it? All right, come on, stupid. All right, had to load up everything into my dad's super cool truck. Grab my Jeep parts too that I forgot to talk about. And we're gonna be on our way. Got a bit of driving to do, so let's see how well that works. Nope, it just wants to flip. Stop doing that. Okay, hold on. I forgot the hitch. In a half a mile, turn left. Shut up. trailer cool Jenny good morning doing a little mini vlog I'm not gonna record the entire time oh, okay. no worries. you do well, you actually work? have everything ready. Oh yeah, yeah, it'll when you, work. When you said hit, it said, uh, it said uh, oh, I didn't even see that one. Well, no, 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 no. So like, I when I texted you, I already realized I was already back on the road. I had already grabbed a hitch uh -huh. and turned back around when I texted you the second. I texted you, then my dad called me and reminded me that the hitch wasn't on the truck because I just took it off like two weeks ago uh, okay. for something else we were doing. But luckily, I had only made it like a block away from my house before I had to put it on. I grabbed the multi ball. I figured it was a two and five sixteenths, but. Isn't that weird? They, they, it's such a weird. It is two and five sixteenths. Why? Why would they pick a number like not, that? Not yeah, three almost eights. all of them. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Not two and a half. No. Two and five sixteenths. I said we gotta. Oh yeah. Oh, as it as it doesn't point the right way. Awesome! I love it when this camera doesn't work. There we go. Yeah, it's a fifty-eight, right? Yeah. Okay, I was correct. I, That's right. I don't know if I needed to. I took the tail lights off on this side, just to be safe. But these ones feel. Pretty good. Oh, were they? And they had they had the bolts. The I mean, on the... I don't know. Do you think it'd be worth it just in case? Ah, eh, they're, they're secure. We're not going that far. No. If we were going cross country, I'd be worried about it. But we're only going... Who should that... Does it have a... Oh, never mind. Yes, it does. This is not at all what I expected it was going to do. I thought it was going to have um, some kind of actual hardware or something retaining it. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So. It kind of looked around. I think that's everything else that's potentially fall off. Yeah. I was gonna say hood, hood, uh, hood latches securely. It's not gonna. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll find out when it uh, it's flying around behind yeah. us. So. All right. Cool. Yeah, 
Well, I was about to say, we, well, I guess we'll uh, hook it up. The only thing is, I don't have a backup camera. Otherwise, I would have backed up straight to it. So, All right. Yeah, let's uh, hook this trailer up. What do you think? Uh, I'll just pull the rest of the way forward. Figure right there looks pretty good. Most yeah, of the weight's like, forward to the axle. There's something, there's something tricky about lowering. Without like slamming it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. There you go. Nice and slow. That's what we want. What a beast. All right. I guess we'll throw the the pins in it and. Not to get that. Well, wait a second. We'll. Uh... It's funny. Yesterday, my uncle said, no matter what that car, it was always the best. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I know you said you kind of wanted. The you wish you traded it for a convertible or whatever. I like the hard top. No, the 58 Plymouth I like better. It just okay. To be a convertible. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I either I just like them better. They, the yeah. I don't know. That's I. Perfect car for me. Yeah. I don't know. I think this is this is this couldn't be any better. These are more rare. Yeah. Dude, I don't remember. I mean, yeah, you see the 58 and 59 Plymouths decently often because. Uh. You know, they were in movies and people love them. And they are legitimately, I think, one of the best looking cars of the 50s. Dude, I think this is perfect. Yeah. It's got just the right amount of fin. It's a royal. It's a little weird. And it's a 20 something foot long two door. <laughs> I think it's 17. But oh, 17. Okay. Well, you know, it's almost. Almost. It's, it's a beast. My dad drove it in the 80s. Yeah. That's funny. Well, it's almost a shame it's going to storage because it'd be awesome to just you know yeah. have it running so you can drive it. But you need to get this thing done. Yeah, get this one. And, and then uh, then focus on this one. Yeah, I know. We'll definitely get the charger out of the uh, the elements. That'll be good. So sweet. All right, let's uh, hook the rest of this thing up, huh? I was just say I saw him walking the Winston. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You don't know what to think, do you? <laughs> She's a heavy girl. Wait for Johnny to turn around. your hops around all right we are on the road it's kind of hard to see in the camp in the, in the rear view but yeah this is uh, a little bit of a tight road we're up atlas peak right now Definitely the tightest road and steepest road I've ever driven a trailer on, I think. Yeehaw. Watch my mirrors, make sure I don't smack any of those rocks on the side of the road. Scraping a little bit, we're good. Woo! A little tight. A little full, a lot of sap. Whoops. Whoa. 
Whoops. Sorry about your rock. I bumped one of them when I was coming up that steep spot just now. But I hit it with a tire. All right, how far do you, you want me to go just to the end over here? Okay, I'm going to back up. Okay. I forgot to get video of unloading it, but I got a couple photos of uh, the inside of his uncle's shop. And he's got some really cool cars. There's, uh, I'll put them up. He's got a 69 Daytona. That's a, an original 440 automatic. And he is the original owner. It was bought on Van Ness Boulevard. Or was it Van Ness Boulevard? It was bought on Van Ness in um, San Francisco. And he used to daily drive it to and from San Francisco when he worked in San Francisco and then next to it he has a more recent acquisition which I unfortunately didn't get the best photo of because I was way more distracted with the super cool Daytona wing car a 1969 all original numbers well not all original but being restored numbers matching 426 Hemi four-speed charger um, that he's currently going through but uh, so yeah, we went and got uh, got it all delivered nice and safe, no issues, didn't lose the hood, didn't lose the car, had to tow it up, probably the narrow, most narrow driveway I've ever seen in my entire life. But uh, we got it done, we're going to go uh, get some gas, and then I'm going to go work on my Jeep a little bit, as the camera points down at my chest, thanks, awesome, I love this camera. Alright. Alright, I had to stop and uh, get some wrenches real quick, because I've couldn't find my uh, flare nut wrenches, so of course, never mind, it's not gonna wanna point where it wants to. Had to get some flare wrenches. Um, but I've got the finished hard lines. That's the old one twisted up, so I got, I had to get them flared. So, and well, I bent them up and flared them. Had to get a better flare tool, because the flare tool I have sucks. Um, so I gotta get these in. Uh, I believe the junction box is either in this box or it's already in the Jeep. And then I got to put uh, the soft line in too, which I also just got um, in the mail not too long ago. So, yeah, I'm going to try and squeeze my head under there and try and get some stuff done on this thing. Whoops. 